Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Saturday, July the 14th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, let's talk a little bit about President Trump uh, in Europe. Uh, let me begin with some of these protests. I, these protests get a tremendous amount of media attention. I mean, the media just loves to cover them. But at the end of the day, they have absolutely zero political impact. Uh, I mean, some of us are old enough to remember when they did it to President Reagan, when they did it to President Bush, and they had absolutely zero impact on their presidencies or certainly their support back home. So I, I don't expect these protests to have much of an impact at all on President Trump. I think they make a lot of headlines and uh, they make for good pictures, for good copy on television, but I don't think uh, it's going to have any more impact than that. Now, with respect to... Uh, what is happening with the mayor of London. You know, the mayor of London, I think, uh, made a big mistake when he allowed the demonstrators to float that, you know, that little baby Trump or whatever it is. I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, I understand, I guess, if you want to make fun of Trump, it's, uh, it's a funny little thing. But at the end of the day, it's interesting how a lot of people in London are reacting to the mayor and they're saying, you know what, don't get so distracted with Trump. Why don't you pay attention to the big problem that we have here? which is a rampant uh, crime wave. I mean, they have some serious crime problems in the city of London. London has become a very unsafe city, and the mayor doesn't seem to have any ideas of how to fix the problem, but he certainly has ideas of how to argue with Trump. And I, and I think that uh, this may be another example of all politics is local. I mean, if you don't take care of your folks, uh, it doesn't matter how angry you may be with Donald Trump. At the end of the day, the people in London are not going to vote about Trump. They're going to vote about crime. And uh, on that particular score, the mayor of London is not doing very well. Another thing I think to consider when you look at, uh, Prime, uh, at Prime Minister May in the UK, Chancellor Merkel in Germany, the president of France, Mr. Macron, and the leaders of, of some of those other countries, President Trump is actually in a much stronger political position at home than any of them. And look, Prime Minister May is, could be gone any moment. Uh, Chancellor Merkel, I mean, she doesn't have a lot of time left, I don't believe. And President Macron in, in France, now he's, uh, I think he's got a six-year term or something like that to serve, or five-year term. But the fact is that uh, he came in with a lot of expectations, and he's extremely unpopular. Now, it's not all his fault. I mean, governing France is a very difficult thing to do. But my point is that all of these leaders have very weak political position versus President Trump, who seems to be getting stronger back here. So, you know, we'll see. Time will tell. He's got a meeting with Putin. We'll see how that goes. That will probably be the highlight of, of the trip. But I think overall, I think overall, uh, President Trump did okay on this trip. And, uh, you know, the people back home had a chance to see him calling on the Europeans to spend more money. They had a chance to see him defending the United States. And I actually think that worked politically for him uh, a heck of a lot more than these protesters in London, who, again, uh, in a week from now, nobody's going to remember the protesters, but a lot of people are going to remember that Donald Trump got some of the Europeans to pay uh, their dues on, on NATO. Well, we have all of these uh, videos over on YouTube. We have them on my Twitter, and we have them on blog. And if this is your birthday, July 14th, happy birthday. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.